Howdy, Possum Patty here, and I'm just journaling, so come on along. This is my gnome journal that I started quite a while ago and decided to finish it up. I started it and I had done a lot of gnome pictures in here, but I never finished it because I wasn't journaling in it. And I have this problem, if I start a journal, it doesn't get done unless I'm journaling in it. But I had already done all these pages in the back with these little gnome pictures and somebody asked me what book they're coming from. And I've already ripped up the cover, but this is the book. It's called Gnomes and it has two pictures of gnomes on the front, which I already took one off. And without the cover, the dust jacket there, this is what it looks like. And it's an old book all about gnomes. And I love the pictures in here. And it was just kind of sitting down in the basement getting a little funky. So I decided why not enjoy it. So I'm cutting it up and putting the little gnome pictures in my journals. Well, mostly this journal. But if I have any left over, they'll go into other journals as well. Look at the little babies. It has a lot of useful information about gnomes, if you want to learn about gnomes. And the author, let's see, do I have the author? Uh, it's so cut up. I could put a link to this book um, below if you want more information about it. If you really love gnomes and love these illustrations, I'll just link it below. So it's getting kind of chunky, kind of chunky, very chunky. But nothing I can do about that now because I'd already sewn in the signatures. What's different about this journal is I pre-made all these pages and each and every page is hand-painted, all lovely painty papers and hand-ripped so it has a decal edge. And all that was done ahead of time. And like I said, a few of these, um, mostly in the back of the book, a little bit in the beginning of the book, pages already have these journaling cards made and belly bands and whatnot. So these are really pretty. Sometimes I surprise myself. I go back and look at something I made. And I'm like, wow, I made that. That's nice. Anyway, moving on to today's journaling. I just have a couple of holiday cards. And one is my niece's children. And I want to put them on this page. You can see how it's all hand painted and splattered and speckled and dripped. And I was thinking about cutting out this little frame here. And just putting it here and doing a little journaling, but then I came across this picture of these two little gnome children, a little girl and a little boy, helping clear the table. And I'm wondering if I could fit some of that on here just to decorate the page a little bit. Because it's so cute, and we have a little girl and a little boy, and maybe if I just leave the card as it is and stick it in the pocket or something. So let me see if I can cut this down. I know this is hard to journal now that it's so fat. It'll be hard for you to see. To something I can use on this page. Okay, cut part of the page off. And I don't want to cut off the little mouse there, so I might have to rip part of this side here. I want to leave that candle in because that's a, like a bright spot there. So let's see. I could just do something like this. I want the top so even. Let's 
see. Like that. That's cute. Now should I make this... I could glue it down on two sides maybe. Where's the little card? And just put them in there. That would be a very simple page. Now I'm looking at this red and white check cloth. It would be cool if I had something to maybe brighten up this spot on the page over here. So I think hmm, decisions, decisions, right? Decisions, decisions. I'm going to cut a little bit of that off. And I think I'm going to just Dress this with. Oh, see, this page is brown. So maybe we'll just go with the. Distress oxide. Find my dabber. Dabba dabba do. These are dabbers that Dolores made for me. From a medicine bottle and a little velcro and a little dabber there there's an extra one in the inside there keep your spares Alright, let's see. I'm going to just go around the edge and go look for something that may match that. Well, I found this piece of wallpaper sample from all my yard sale going last spring. And I love it with that. Now, how to use it on the page is a big decision. I could... Just make it the size of the page, but leave a little bit of the painty paper showing. I think that really brightens it up. And then the card would go in there. I think that'll work. I think so, I think so. Yeah, we did a lot of tag sale, yard sale, flea market last spring and early summer. And I got a lot of material. And what else? Wallpaper samples and calendars, old calendars, like my big giant monster Christmas book it's made from old calendars. I want rippy edges. Rippy edges everywhere. Down here. So it is January and it is dark and snowy today. But when spring comes, we'll probably be going out to those tag sales again. I have to be careful not to buy too much more stuff, though, because I've got quite a stash. Quite a stash. All right, so what I'm going to do is I am just going to glue this down. Maybe I will rip this just a little tiny bit more. Some of that painty edge showing. Let's see. Yeah. Okay. 
and then I'm going to glue this on top of that like a I'm just going to glue two sides like a tuck and then the cards going to go in here like that and look the back is plain so I can do something on the back of this so I'm just going to do some gluing and I promise I will be right back okay while this is drying I'm gonna work on the card and I found this other picture of the little boy and girl gnome and the father is reading from the book to them and that will fit on the back of this. Make it more like a journaling card. You know, it's in the rest of the book. Should I make it a two-layer thing? Why not? Why not? Okay, I'm going to rip this a little more. Because I like a rippy edge. I don't know if I'm going to distress this, though. I might not. I might not. Okay, I'm going to glue this down to this paper and rip around the edge and glue it onto there. Okay, so the image is glued down. I did not distress on this side because the back of this card is very dark. And then you get that little white deckle edge when you rip it, so I wanted to leave that. And then on this side, I did round the corners and put some green ink around the edge because, you know, that's what we do. So now this looks like a journaling card, but it is a Christmas card. And I can just stick it into the pocket. Like so. Do I want to put a ribbon or something on there? Hmm. I don't know. I can think about that. Now this was a glue page from BB, BB's Closet Creations. That was really fun. All right, that's, that didn't take very long. So I'm going to do another page and another holiday card. So I hope you're using your holiday cards, if you have some, for your journal. There's another CVS. Everybody's getting their cards done at CVS. And this is my son and daughter-in-law. And they put a summer picture of the sunflower field. So I'm going to put that on this green page across from these daisies and gnome on the swing. And isn't this pretty? This is from the gnome book. So I'm wondering how I can get this on here because I want her on this page. She's so cute. It goes perfect with the other page. So maybe I'll do another pocket and another journaling card. I guess I can do that. Oh, this is a real painty paper. A lot of greens on that page. I don't want to cover that all up. So, oh, I wonder if I can get her and the flower on there. All right, I'm going to do some trimming. Okay, she just fits on the page with the flower. So I'm going to glue this probably three sides to make a pocket. And then I'm going to turn this photo, Christmas card, into a journaling card. It's a little big. I'm going to trim it down a little bit so it fits in the pocket. So I can glue this down and... While this is drying, work on that journaling card. And for pockets, I usually use uh, Fabri-Tac. I 
Now somebody was telling me that the Dollar Tree, I think this was the Goff Crafter TT, sells beacon poster board and foam glue and it was the same thing as this, two ounces. And if that is true, that is a good deal. So I'm going to be looking for that. Because it is, this is beacon. Hmm. So I don't, I think they have a poster board section at the Dollar Tree. So I'm going to go over there and next time I'm in there and see if they have that glue. Okay, I glued it down on three sides. And now I'm going to trim this down so it fits in. I'll be right back. I know I keep turning the camera off, but I'll tell you why I do that. Because if I don't turn the camera off periodically, these videos would run like for over an hour. I try to keep them. I know they're long, but I try to keep them a little bit shorter. And I cut the video off if I'm just cutting or gluing or something. Unless I have a story to tell. In which case, I leave it on. I cut the card down. Now it's kind of small. But I had to make it narrower to fit into the pocket. So I trimmed the top and the bottom off. There was really nothing on there. It's kind of dark space anyway. But now the top of the page looks naked. And we can't have that. So I have this lovely sunflower ribbon that was like three dollars when they have their 70 percent off sale at michael's in the fall and i'm going to put a strip of it right there because i think it's pretty and this is a sunflower pitcher and this is wired ribbon but i'm going to pull the wire out and roll it up and stick it over there for now. A lot of times I do pull the wire out when I use the ribbon. And I was watching Linda D. I can link her channel below. If I remember, I'll try. To um, She was using this wire to make little um, you know, beaded dangles for her journal. And it is a no tool beaded dangle video and she used the wires from the ribbon and I thought that was pretty cool. So I'm just going to glue that on there across the top of the page so that when I put this in there is something across the top of the page. Oh and I have some sunflower stickers I bought the other day at the Dollar Tree too. So let's see. I don't know, should I use, I think this will hold it. I think Tacky Goo should hold it down. Why not? When I lived in Pennsylvania, we called our farm Breezy Corner Flower Farm. And I guess I should have put it on the ribbon and not the paper. And I was teaching school, so I had the summer off. And I had the idea that I would grow flowers and sell sunflowers in the summer. And little bouquets of like zinnias. And so I did, but it was a lot, a lot, a lot of work. And I didn't make a lot, a lot of money for sure. 
think I'll leave a little green showing at the top. And not the edge there. So a little border there, I'm gonna get some of that glue off. I'll make sure that's dry before I close the page. Hard to work in a fat journal. Nothing is as fat as my altered composition book though. Oh mama mia. That one turned out ridiculously fat. What's this? I don't know what that is, but that's not sticking down. Yeah, put some fabric tack on there. It doesn't want to stick. And that should hold it. That's got to dry good though before I turn the page. I have these gorgeous sunflower stickers. I think these are wall stickers, like vinyl stickers from the Dollar Tree. These were gifted to me. And I have these that I bought. And I was looking for a smaller ribbon. But I don't know if I want to use more sunflowers. Maybe something to contrast. This is yellow with white polka dots. So I'm thinking that I want to put a big sunflower in the back of this card and I may cut this to size. I gotta watch out for that B though. So let's see how this comes off. This is gonna be interesting, right? I'm going to, oops, rip it. All right, let's use the scissors. So we have as little ripping as possible. I'm gonna save that big sunflower that's on the top and use that on another page so I can cut it there. And let's see if this goes on about like that. So if you have these great big giant stickers and you're thinking they're not going to fit in your journal, why not cut them to size? See, still got that. It's gorgeous. That'll go on something else. Another journaling card. Now let's see if I can get this off without ripping it. Let's see, beautiful, beautiful. And I think I'll put a little extra glue on this since I already ripped it. And where's Fabri-Tac? Okay, a little Fabri-Tac. I need to put the lid on that because It'll get all gunky. Just for a little extra stickiness. See if I can get it on there. Like that. There's a little corner there. It's got to come out. Come out, come out. I ripped it right there. So make sure that's down good. Oh, it looks so pretty on that dark background. Part of the sticker here. We don't want that, but maybe we want a B. 
couple of bees here. So let's see, this one's flying in this direction. So we will put a dab of glue there. I just noticed she's got her sunflower skirt on. This is a um, sunflower field where you go and pick your own sunflowers. And all the money benefits Make-A-Wish Foundation in Connecticut. Ooh, I like that. I like it. I like it. And I may just put, for a finishing touch, just a little smidgen of a ribbon. A smidgen of a ribbon at the top. Right there. Lumpy glue. Scissors. Okay, let's see. I just glued it down. I was going to sew it, but I didn't want to put stitches through the sunflower because I think the sunflower is so pretty. So I glued it with some Fabri-Tac, but now I want to put something there. And I was thinking a green heart would look lovely. Green bling bling. Half around. Or more flowers. Or a sunflower. I could put a little sunflower there. Ooh. Do I want bling or a sunflower? Or do we have enough sunflowers on here already? We could put something a little different. Mix it up. Mix it up. Why not? Let's put something a little different. Can't have everything sunflower, sunflower, sunflower. So I'm going to put a little sparkly green heart there just to mix it up a little bit. That really stands out against that yellow. Okay, my journaling card is done. Put the bling bling away. All right, let's see what the page looks like now. Now it's hard to see because it's at an angle. And they go right in there. Do I want to add something three-dimensional up there? You know, you got the stuff. You got to use it. Because if you don't use it, you can't go out and buy more stuff. a nice big three-dimensional sunflower right there. I'm going to take this little, well maybe I won't take that little tab off. Usually I take that little tab off, but today I think I'll just glue it with the tab. Something new in 22. I always take these tabs off, but today I'm not going to. And I'm going to stick that flower right up there in the corner. Add a little sparkle. It's got a little bit of glitter on there. And let this page dry. My sunflower. Holiday card. I know it looks very springy, but... And then I have my other holiday card. My two little gnomes. Oh, look, he's got his hair up in a little point. He should be wearing a gnome hat. 
and oops let's see sometimes you gotta sometimes you gotta get your ruler in there oops just poke it down a little bit I must have put a lot of glue on that one I always put too much glue Anyway, that's fine. It works. It works. All righty. Well, I just want to wish everybody happy junk journaling. I've got two pages done in my gnome journal. There's not that many more pages here to do. And I will be finishing this up and doing a flip through. Probably, I don't know. That will probably take me a week or so because I'm slow. And I'm working in other journals. But stay tuned for that. Oh, here's two pages that need to be done. Thanks for coming along today. Bye-bye.